The topic today is scale drawing and the question we have today is on bearing and distances. So the question reads, Town B is 180 kilometers on a bearing of 50 degrees from Town A. Another Town C is on a bearing of 110 degrees from Town A and on a bearing of 150 degrees from Town B. A fourth Town D is 240 kilometers on a bearing of 320 degrees from town A. Using scale drawing, set that one centimeter represents 30 kilometers. Then for part A, show the relative positions of the towns. So for part B, using the diagram, that is the scale drawing that we shall have drawn for part A, find distance AC for Roman 1, then Roman 2, distance CD, and finally the compass bearing of C from B. So straight to the first part, we are required to show the relative positions of the towns. It's always a good practice to begin by sketching. So we will first of all have the positions on a sketch. So we are told that town B is 180 kilometers on a bearing of 50 degrees from town A. So that means we are beginning from town A. So if town A is right here, so this line here is a true nothing. So town B is 180 kilometers on a bearing of 50 degrees. So we always measure clockwise from the true north line that is if we have point a right here then on the upper part measure clockwise so the angle specified and here we have 50 degrees and remember town b is 180 kilometers away so we have 180 kilometers to town b so we have another true north line here And then another town C is on a bearing of 110 degrees from town A. So from town A, we will measure 110 degrees in a similar way, clockwise, so that you are able to locate town C. And you are told that the same town C is on a bearing of 150 degrees from town B. So at town B, we will measure 150 degrees clockwise and then that will help us locate the position of town C. Further, a fourth town D is 240 kilometers on a bearing of 320 degrees from A. So at A again we measure clockwise but this time round it is 200 or rather 320 degrees. 320 degrees and we are told that town D is 240 kilometers away from town A so we'll have the true northing at this particular point where it passes directly through point D so that is the sketch we are going to use to draw a scale drawing. So remember we had been told to use a scale of 1 cm to represent 30 km. So 1 cm representing 30 km. So apparently for 180 km this will be 6 cm according to our scale. And then for 240 kilometers, we'll have it as 8 centimeters. So straight to the scale drawing. Remember, all the information that we need is already in the sketch now. So we are more interested in the sketch than the previous question we had. So in order to have the scale drawing, we'll begin with point A. So at point A we are going to locate 
the other points as instructed that is going to be the first one so we have a true northern so these lines here are very important with the true northings we will always be able to locate the points accurately so we have at this particular point a and then from a we are going to locate b so we take a protractor Remember, we are measuring clockwise 50 degrees. So for visibility, let me improve size. Fifty degrees is right there. So take your pencil and mark that point then using a ruler join point A to the mark next remember we are told that B is 180 kilometers from A so we are going to measure 6 centimeters which in this case represents 180 kilometers measure 6 centimeters and then using that length we come to point A and we will have to put a mark to locate the position of B right there So the next thing, remember at this particular point we have B, but just as I had said earlier on, it's important to draw the true northings at each and every point we locate. So we will achieve this by simply using a set square together with ruler. We will have the set square right at this particular point. So. Let's have it in such a way that it coincides. So this end coincides with the true northing at point A. Once that is done, the idea here is to slide this to point B so that in essence we'll just be transferring a line parallel to this true northing. So to achieve that, we have to support it with a ruler. And then we slide it to point B. Up to point B. So as you do that, ensure that the edge of the set square down here coincides with the ruler. And then once that is done, Draw a straight line through B. It's also important to have the lines as long as possible, so it's not a big deal the length of the line I'm drawing. So that is the location of B. The next thing we are going to locate position of C and from the sketch we have C being on a bearing of 110 degrees. That is from A. So again we come to point A, check the protractor, come to point A and this time round measure 110 degrees clockwise and then once that is done put a mark at that particular point and then 
you draw a straight line joining point A to the mark that you've just had. So we can tidy this up a little bit. Next, at point B, we are going to locate the same C. So, so we are going to locate C, which is on a bearing of 150 degrees from B. We are going to measure 150 right there. And then, just as before, we come and put a mark at this point. And then we join B to the mark as we had done previously. So the mark, rather the points should be joined using a ruler. So it's a straight line. Now with this, you already have the location of C. C is right there. The next thing is to locate the position of D. D is on a bearing of 320 degrees from point A and 240 kilometers away. So we are going to come to point A and measure 320 degrees clockwise from the true northing. But remember here we have a straight line and that means on this side we have an angle of 180 degrees and goes on a straight line. So, whatever is remaining on this other side is 140, so that we have a total of 320 degrees. So, we are simply going to measure 140 on this opposite side. The next thing is to measure 140 clockwise. So we have 140 degrees at this particular point. So once we've achieved that, let's again come and place a mark at this particular point. That is exactly at 140. And then the next thing here is to measure the distance. Remember, on the sketch, the distance is 240 kilometers and according to our scale, that is 8 centimeters. So once that is done, we'll transfer it to the diagram. And then we come and put a mark to locate town D. So we have D right there. Remember now, what you're simply going to do is to draw the true northing through all the points. Remember, we forgot to do that for C, and we'll do for C and D. Okay, and we will now move to the next part of the question. We are told, using the diagram, that is our scale drawing, find the distance AC. We will take the pair of compasses and bring it to point A, and then measure the length AC. So, C is right there. So once we've done that, we transfer the distance to our ruler. And that is 9 centimeters. So the distance AC is 9 centimeters. 
But remember that is according to the scale drawing. That is right up here. But we are required at this particular point to give the actual distance. So according to our scale, one centimeter was representing 30 kilometers. So nine centimeters here should represent 270 kilometers. So remember here we've multiplied nine centimeters by 30. The next thing is to determine the distance CD in a similar way. Before we measure, we will have to join C to D with a straight line. And thereafter, we will now measure the distance CD. So with that, you can now bring it down here and measure. So what we have here is 16.2 centimeters. So let's transfer that down here. 16.2 centimeters. And that should give us, according to our scale, so we multiply by 30. So that is 486 kilometers. And lastly, we are going to find the compass bearing of C from D. Well, for compass bearing, we proceed as follows. So we have uh, the location of C from D obtained as follows. So you come at D. Remember, for compass bearing, we'll have to measure an acute angle. So the acute angle is measured from the true northing. So it can either be clockwise or anti-clockwise, depending on the direction you are facing. So for us to get the angle between the true northing and line CD, the acute angle will be obtained when you read it from the south. So this angle here, remember the other one is obtuse. So when you measure this angle, you realize it is 56. And then once we've measured the angle, we will go and record it as follows. So remember, we were first facing south, and then we measured 56 degrees. So this angle we turned towards the east. And there we have the compass bearing. So that is it for this question. I want to thank you for your patience. Thank you for watching. I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.